you guys need to calm down. Like, seriously, wow. <laughs> and this is just a fraction of the amount of comments. Yeah, guys, now you can calm down because, well, let's just continue watching this video. Hi, how you doing? Well, I'm doing great. I hope you are too. Please don't kill me today, okay? Everyone has been requesting for this video. It's either you behave or, yeah, just behave, please. Wow, thank you. I appreciate it, really, I do. Whoa, guys, so this is a miracle. I'm so surprised. Look at her, how well behaved she is today. Get her some fresh water. Wow, I'm amazed. So I've got a good feeling for this video. Well, since she behaved today, would you guys wanna see how she eats? Of course you do, who wouldn't? Wow, she doesn't even wanna eat. She's such a good girl today. Wow, look at that. Guys, this is so unlike her. She's being very, very good today. Very, very polite. All right, I hope the rest are behaving like this today. This is the Brazilian Pink Bloom, the Pamphlet. Oh my god, there she goes. Just wanted to show you guys how she looks. That was quick though. Pamphlopetius platioma, also known as the Brazilian Pink Bloom. There we go. Her carapace has the little pink, two little pink things, and her legs are like purple. Pretty cool looking tarantula. They aren't really aggressive. They're just very food responsive. So wait, let me go get a cricket for her. But before that... Oh, by the way, if the ASMR sounds a little bit wrong or different, it's because I'm using a can today. Previously, I used a bottle. So I'm just going to try a can out. If you guys like it, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If you guys prefer the water bottle, let me know in the comments. But hello, I am a cricket. Would you be interested in me? Oh, yes, you. Whoa. Yes, you are. That was a pretty quick takedown. Next, we have the Selena Cosmia Javanensis. I'm just filming over here because as soon as I touch this, she's gonna go in. Yeah, as you can see. Oh, I'm surprised. Usually, when I touch an enclosure, she goes straight in. I just love what this one has done to our enclosure. Look at the burrow, look at the webbing, and yeah, let's just drop a cricket. Um, okay, I was hoping that she would come out so we can see her more, but it looks like we, that, that made it worse. I guess that's the best we can see her. Beautiful, beautiful tarantula as well as a beautiful enclosure she has made. But let's do what we came here for. This is an Asian species by the way, so they really do enjoy it a little bit damp. So we'll just dampen the web. She can either drink from that or from... This girl has started to come out and stay out more often nowadays. This is the Cobalt Blue. I love that everyone's in such a good mood today. I mean, it's safer for both me and the Tarantulas. This is... As I was saying, this is the Kilobrachis King Krachan. The Dark Earth Tiger Girl. Okay. You know, the Thailand Black? which was like really crazy is very calm today i expect you to be better like what is your problem hmm just giving you water so behave yourself whoa that one was a bit loud my pumpkin patch just decides to stay in her burrow now you can see those legs right there and she hardly ever comes out nowadays so i'll just this is the tan color form OBT, also known as the Ternoculus murinus. Whoa, stay there. The Neoholothelli Inse, Trinidad Olive. Now this one is a little bit annoying. I mean, look at the water dish. Every time I fill it up, she just, yeah, webs it up close. Pouring with this can really makes loud noises. Personally, I think the bottle sounds way nicer, but I'm just gonna use the can for today and we'll, we'll see how it turns out. My skeleton tarantula's enclosure, I know it doesn't look very nice and I don't know, really plain, but I really love what she did. Around the side over here, we can see she made a burrow and just sits there. This is awesome because I can always turn around and just take a quick look at her. She hasn't gorged herself till the point that I can't see her. And then when it's feeding time, she leaves her feet out, just waiting, and then I drop the roach and, I mean the cricket, or, or whatever, and she just grabs it and goes back right down there. It's pretty cool. I don't really have to worry about her because she is in there, so I'll just... 
Oh, another rare tea is out. This is the Header Skodra Maculata. Let's just, hopefully she doesn't, oh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to see you and yeah, I won't disturb you. There's a gorgeous feet. These guys look like ghosts, like ghost tarantulas. They're like white on the front side and brownish on the back. It's really cool. But they're old worlds and you don't want to mess around with them. You really don't. Okay, that one just sounded like me peeing in the toilet. Why did I even bring that up? <laughs> ASMR ruined, just like that. Ew, what happened to water? Why do you like pour stuff in? Hey, you're a new world, behave like one. This one has a nice enclosure. There's a little chest, a broken chest. And then there's a coconut hide, which, yeah, she just blocked the entrance. What was that? Beautiful. Where are you going? Nowhere. I don't even know where this one is. Like, I can't see the legs. I She's not there. I don't know. Oh, there she is. You can see those legs there. There's one foot over there. This girl's gonna get a boyfriend as well, so. There was no sound. This enclosure needs it damp anyway, so. <laughs> we need sound. Give us some sound. There's the sound. I shouldn't have talked. I just destroyed the ASMR. I'm sorry! King Baboon. She never comes out anymore, she just stays in there. I don't know why, but yeah. Reload! Oh, beautiful. This one's out. This is Orphanica species Marinduki. Pretty cool. There's like brown on the top and then purple on the side. Wow. But this one, I'm just going to pour the water in because this one will... Oh my goodness. It's <laughs> too full. I'm sorry. But yeah, just like that. Um, hi. How you doing? Hope you're well. Please don't kill me. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I had to do that quick guys because she can just change her mind anytime and no that shall not happen today look at that kilo brachis andersoni the burmese muster i'm just glad that the water dish is like the total opposite of her so she can't run towards me and grab it my freshly molten monocentropus balfori the socotra island blue baboon now this is probably the nicest she'll ever look because she just molted. Not sure how she's gonna react with me taking out her molt. No, please. No, no. Give me your molt. Let go. Let go of your head. Let go of your head. Thank you. Beautiful molt. Check out those fangs. Let's go. Booty. Check out that black part on her butt. It's like, just, <laughs> it's a different color compared to the rest of her butt. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. So just let me take your water dish and you stand so majestically, I know. I'm just gonna give you some good fruit punch. Enjoy your fruit punch. I'm sure you will. I think you'll enjoy cricket as well. Oh yeah, you will. <laughs> Good girl. Are you a male or a female? Your front legs look really, really long. Salt to me as a female? I don't know, guys. Ophonopelma calcodes, the Arizona blonde. Wow, look at this girl's colors. She just molted, as you can see, the molt, well, she destroyed it. No, don't eat your own molt. By the way, this is the Ophonopelma simani, the Costa Rican zebra. Beautiful looking tea. Whoa, 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 sorry. Yep, I think I'll just, yeah, so much easier. My estimation, it's just perfect. <laughs> I know you guys are jealous. Cremastola Rosea looking fine with those pink hairs. Wow, beautiful. Gotta love your rose hairs. I don't understand why people don't like them. Yeah, you can drink from there now. You're welcome. This one's a Gramastola Pottery, the common rose hair. You see the difference? Whoa, come on. You're a new world. Please don't act like the Thailand Black. Three videos previously. Hey, out of the way. Go, go away. This is your water dish area. 
Not your area. Move, get away. Water's gonna come falling on your legs. You like that, don't you? Don't you? Well, drink your water now. I'm pretty sure you're thirsty. Thirsty. <laughs> Man, I gotta grow up. Grow up, exotic love. Grow up. I'm 12 anyway, so hee <laughs> hee. That's what my friend said. You know whose enclosure this is? Well, the good thing is, she is in there and doesn't look like she's gonna come out, so I'll just use my hands. Yep. Who needs tongs? And so other way to go. <laughs> tongs are for the weak. Stay there, please. I'm making such a big mess. What's new? This girl is awesome. Usually very, very well behaved and very, very well thick as well. Like, enjoy your drink. Guys, remember this girl, the one that I always say that she's always fat even after she molts well? She just molted. No, come on. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Anyways, <laughs> she just molted again. And look at her butt. It's still fat. Yeah, guys. There. I'm not lying. She's still fat. And please give me the molt. And I'm gonna make you even fatter. <laughs> yep. Look at that butt. Yeah, be even more fat. Oh, this girl. When will you ever stop being fat? Well, well, I'm partly to blame as well, but... Yep. Yeah. Here we have the Guatemalan Tiger Rump, also known as the Davis Pentaloris. Don't know why she's on the sides. Oh, there we go. Yeah, be a terrestrial, not an arboreal. Now that is why they're called Tiger Rump. Look at the butt. It's like a tiger-shaped thing, but... So this is the Nandu Tripepi, also known as the Brazilian Giant Blonde, and look at what she did with her enclosure. She pretty much went into a burrow and just dug out all of the substrate and just piled it up at one corner. I saw her doing this for several days and looks like it worked. This one is a little bit food responsive, so usually anything that moves, as you can see, she'll just go for it. So yeah, nope, it's not feeding time. Give me the water. There we go. Here's your water dish. Don't turn around and attack me. I said don't turn around and if, hey, behave. You're gonna get yourself some drink. Let's go. Go enjoy. Enjoy your drink. Nice cold drink. This is the Acanthoscoria chaquana, also known as the Bolivian pink. For an Acanthoscoria, this one has a pretty good attitude, so... Oh my gosh, that was really loud. This thing makes me sound like I'm peeing, like seriously, it really does. Oh, earlier I did mention about my Heteroscorder Maculata, well, she is out now. Like I mentioned, she looks like a ghost, really white. And she is camouflaged perfectly with this wood, which is so cool. You gotta move because I wanna put your dish, so yeah. In previous videos, my Geniculatas are also very, I don't know, showing me bad attitude, but Whoa. But today, looks like all the teas are in a good mood. This is the Phonopelma Calcodes Arizona Blonde. And she is looking stunning as ever. Look at her, already coming towards the water dish. Very smart girl, here you go. Whew, calm down girl. Just go drink your water, okay? Here's your crate is gigas. Whoa, <laughs> scared me a little bit, but yeah, I don't think I'll disturb her because these guys can be very mean. Oh, look, it's her carapace from the moat. For a baboon species, these guys like it really damp and moist. Well, not really, they like it relatively damp and moist. Well guys, I guess that is it for watering my tarantulas part 4. I know this one wasn't too exciting, the teas weren't really aggressive. I mean, I'm not here to agitate them. Previous watering, they just decided to react more when I was taking out the water dish. But in today's one, they all were cooperating with me. So yeah, it may not be as entertaining as what you guys expected, like the first, second and third. but 
we'll we'll do a fifth one in the future and maybe miss Tylen black over there will try to kill me again i know that's what you guys want to see right but <laughs> i don't want that happening to me but well you guys want to see that but i'm not here to agitate i'm just here to change a water dish so if she doesn't react to it it's not my fault or if she reacts to it it's not my fault either so it's all up to her same thing goes with all the others that's what the tarantulas feel like doing today we just got to respect that anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video regardless if you did be sure to thumbs it up if you didn't you're free to thumbs it down sure if you're new to this channel be sure to subscribe turn on that little post notification bell also if you'd like to support through patreon there's a link in the description below together with the social media links so feel free to go check those out so that'll be it i don't have any more things to say if you guys still would like to see a watering video part 5 and I don't know, maybe you guys are hoping that they will react more. Comment down below. So next time, you guys take care and I'll see you in the next video.